Hello and welcome to this uh, special segment on NewsX where we track uh, the single most important question on everyone's mind and that is who's winning 2024? My name is Vineet, ladies and gentlemen. You will be able to see the exit polls right here on NewsX at 6 p.m. on uh, the 1st and the results all day live on the 4th of June. Until then, we are getting you this daily expertometer where analysts put together what they feel is the pulse of the nation. Today, we are being joined by political analyst Mr. Ravi Shivastav, who is going to give his take on this important issue. Mr. Shivastav, I appreciate you joining us. We will, of course, begin with the, the total tally, 543 seats. What is going to be your division? How do you look at it? Yeah, I guess uh, BJP is going to get around 240 plus NDA Alliance around 30 seats, uh, Congress is going to get around 120, India Alliance is going to get another 100 and 130 and the others will be 23. But that makes 543. All right, wonderful, sir. Uh, let's go state-wise now. Let's also look at Tamil Nadu, an important state uh, yeah. with 39 seats. Yeah. What's your prediction, sir? Uh, DMK 17, BJP nil, Congress 7. India Alliance 14. So that makes 39. All right, sir. So there is also a buzz about Karnataka, uh, you yeah. know, in fact, uh, giving gains to the Congress party. Where do you stand on that with 28 seats in Karnataka? Karnataka, my guess is the BJP is going to get around six seats plus their ally, JDS, another one seat, and rest 21 will go to Congress. All right, sir. Madhya Pradesh, uh, 29 seats. Uh, the BJP is very confident that they will be sweeping. Madhya Pradesh is BJP 17 and uh, Congress uh, 10. This is my guess. Or Rajasthan, sir. In fact, uh, the uh, uh, Congress party is very, very confident that they are, in fact, uh, getting more seats as compared to 2019 in Rajasthan. Yes, Rajasthan is uh, 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 8 seats for uh, Congress and 17 for BJP. All right, sir. How about Gujarat? It has always Guj been inclined towards BJP. Any changes there? Yeah. Gujarat will be another uh, 17 seats for BJP and 8 only for Congress. Delhi, 7 seats. Any sympathy for the Ahmadmi Party and the Congress? Absolutely. Delhi is a uh, washout for BJP completely. The 4 and 3, that combination, both are going to win 7 seats together. Yeah. And sir, how about Uttar Pradesh? The BJP is sitting pretty with 60 plus seats from 2019. Is that going to change? Yeah, Uttar Pradesh, my guess is that BJP will be reduced to 54. BJP allies will be another 2, so makes it 56. Congress will be 10 and Sapa is 14. So that is 24 seats. Wonderful, sir. And how about Bihar, sir, with 40 seats? Yeah, Bihar is uh, approximately the BJP is 8, JDU 6, others 4. So it is 18, Congress 6, BJP 16, total 22. And West RJD. Bengal, I said sorry, RJD 16, 22. Yeah. And West, West Bengal, Bengal sir, with 42 seats, the Bharatiya Janata Party yeah, is TNC, looking to up its TNC, tally of 18. No, it's it will be 13. TNC 28, Congress 1. Maharashtra, sir, the last state with 48 seats and a number of parties. Maharashtra now. will be BJP 8 seats, Shinde Seda 2 seats, Ajit Pawar 2 seats, that makes 12. And Congress is 14. And uh, Shiv Sena, Uddhav Sahib Thakre, 16, another two for N uh, another six for NCP Sharad Pawar. So that makes 36 seats for India Alliance there. Mr. Shivastav, thank you for joining us and thank you for that analysis. We'll uh, see to that on the 4th of June. Thank you so much. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.